how to host a free website on Triple Zero Web Host 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back to yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking in great detail and depth about how you are going to be hosting a free website on this amazing web host software, okay? And it's going to be really easy and really simple and absolutely out of this world. So please do make sure to fully watch this video all the way till the end so you can get the uh, basic general idea of how we're going to allow ourselves to actually do this. So uh, to start things off, what we're obviously going to do is we're going to come over to web host over here. And once you come over to web host, what's going to happen from here is it's going to take us to his basic homepage and dashboard. And in the basic homepage and dashboard, uh, you're going to get uh, these hostings and all these things. But it says it all starts here. Choose one of the premium plans and enjoy all the greatest features, industry leading performance and top of the class 24 seven live support on the market. Unlimited hardware resources, free domain, SSL and SSH also included. Then you get the pricing and plans. So you get free web hosting, which is obviously free, zero dollars. Then there's single shared hosting, which is the ideal solution for your beginners. Then you have premium web hosting, which is pretty popular around uh, hosts. And then there's business web hosting. Again, pretty popular, pretty terrific. So yeah, all these things are really, really popular and really helpful to work with and uh, just a really good dynamic to work around with. And so you get the whole gist of that, you get the whole point of that. It's really important, really terrific stuff to get your head around. So yeah, basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna sign up for free on this. And uh, as we go ahead and click on sign up for free, it takes us to the account creation. It asks us to you know add in our email and password and that is exactly what we're gonna do. Now, if you have a Google, if you have a Facebook, or if you have a hostinger, you can use the accounts for those to sign in with this, but I'm just gonna use my own email. And let's go with my password. And uh, then we're gonna go with the password over here as well. Once we have gone with these, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead with uh, a Gmail. And once you do that, you're gonna click on sign up. now. Uh, do make sure that uh, the email that you use is, uh, you know, something from a very respected host provider, because if it's not, then it does not act really recognize that provider as a host. So, yeah. And then just go ahead and make sure to uh, fulfill these verifications. And once you have fulfilled the verifications, it's going to take you through the whole sign up process. So to start us off, it first things first, it asks us a few things. So in first things first, it says learn web development, build an online store, create web design, start a blog and a few other things. So what are exactly we going to do? Okay. Now, obviously, we want to start web hosting. Okay, we want to actually create some type of web design. Or you could even go with the building an online store if that's what, uh, you know, actually works your train. But you get the whole point. Now, to start things off, basically, once you're over here and verifying your account, uh, it says, you know, verify your actual email. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, now, I've verified my email through my phone. And once we've done that, you're going to see that it's going to take us. So I'm going to reload this page and it's going to take me to the actual onboarding. So as we reload, there we go. Now here we've gone into the onboarding and we're going to click on start now. So first of all, uh, you're going to create a site name for yourself. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go with the, let's say John's store. Okay. I'm just going to call it that. Then comes your password. So keep a strong password for your store that no one else will know because obviously this is your domain. This is your store. We don't actually want anyone else to get hands on this, right? So keep a strong little password and click on create. And the Black Friday sale is upcoming. You know, it's uh, going to come ahead in two days because that's where Black Friday essentially starts. And trust me, it's going to be an absolute great day because the deals that you're going to get on a hosting for Black Friday are absolutely incredible. But yeah, 
uh, once you have gone with the necessities from there, what you are going to want to do is you're going to load things up. And once you load things up, what's going to happen from there is going to bring you here. So how do you prefer to tackle website creation? So either you can install WordPress and use the most popular CMS platform to build your very own website, or you can upload a existing site that you have. Okay. Now, a lot of people go with this option. A lot of people feel comfortable going with this option, which is basically to uploading an existing site. But I don't know why I always prefer to go ahead and select my WordPress account, you know, because my WordPress account would just work much better. It would work much more efficiently. And, uh, you know, imagine getting WordPress for free. You know, that's an absolute steal just to even think of it because WordPress is one of the most popular and top leading CMSs and like big enterprises like Disney and all these people, they use WordPress to actually run their website. And people don't realize that, that Disney and these things, they're pretty big people. And just imagining that these people use WordPress for their websites, pretty incredible just to think about it. Now, uh, once we've tackled all of that for ourselves, what we are going to be doing from there on out is we're going to go ahead into the basic, uh, as you could say, the basic upgradation of our web host. So I'm just going to wait for these things to load up. And once the files have been uploaded, let's discuss uh, a few more things, because essentially this is the hosting has started you have basically hosted a website for free because we signed up for free. We created an account for free and we just connected to a top leading provider for free. So essentially your free hosting has started. Now it's just updating your credentials and it's going to give you a free hosting that you can then work around with. Now here you can see, this is your basic dashboard and this is what you can start working around with. You know, uh, here you have your John store website. Uh, you can view the site. Now this is basically a hosting, right? And you can manage it in great detail by connecting it to other websites. So, you know, WordPress, uh, Hostinger, you can add backups, add different tools. There's different website settings that you can work with. And you can also edit this website with a proper website editor because essentially you have your WordPress for this and you can install WordPress. Okay. Make sure to add in an admin password for yourself. Okay. An admin password is really necessary to install WordPress into your website. So just click on install. It's going to install WordPress. And from there on out, you can actually mess with the CMS. So basically, this is how you're going to allow yourself to get free hosting on web host. So pretty incredible, pretty nice and pretty easy. But that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.